Good evening or good morning, good afternoon, depending on when you are watching this. My name is Faye. I am here with Northern Red Fitness. Uh, my Great Dane Duvessa is here as well. Um, we're going to be doing some yoga for tight hips. So I apologize in advance if my dog takes over the camera. I will try to keep her on her bed, but she uh, likes to get right up in our face for yoga. So. I'm very appreciative of you guys joining. Tonight's practice is going to be uh, fairly soft. We'll be down on the mat the entire time. Um, so we'll have a seat to start on the mat or a comfortable surface. If you want a pillow or a bolster to sit on, uh, sometimes that is more comfortable. So feel free to grab that as well. So we'll just <laughs> hopefully get Duvessa to bed here and uh, get started and hop back on that mat. So there is a parkour form in uh, just the title of this uh, yoga class. So feel free to take a look at that. We always recommend checking in with a physician prior to starting any new exercise program. And remember to stay within your wheelhouse. So if something hurts, you don't have to do it. Uh, maybe drop a comment and let me know uh, what is bothering you and I can perhaps give you an alternative. So we're gonna start back on the mat. We're going to start with our right leg crossed in front of the left. Duvessa is going to get up on the bed. On the bed. Come on. <laughs> there she goes. All right, so crossing the leg. She may be back. Maybe not. Start with the legs crossed. So my right leg is in front of the left. If you want to sit up on a bolster, you can do that. Bring the hands on the knees. Draw the shoulders up, back, and down, and just lengthen through the spine. What I mean by that is drawing up through the crown of your head. So as you inhale, feel the spine grow taller all the way up to the crown of the head. And then exhale, draw the shoulders back, sit down nice and deep into those sit bones. Inhale. And exhale. Maybe close the eyes, breathing in deep, filling the belly, the ribs, all the way up to the top of the lungs. And as we exhale through the nose, we release that breath from the top of the lungs first, then through the ribs, down deep into the belly. Inhale, filling the belly, the ribs, all the way up to the top of the lungs. Exhale, slow. Close the eyes, take a few moments here just to work on that breath. Trying to lengthen every inhale and complete every exhale. Allow any of the stress of the day gently melt away. Relaxing off the shoulders. Notice any points in the body that might be feeling just a little bit tight, a little sore. One more big inhale up together. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring the chest down towards the left knee, sweep it all the way forward, bring it to the right knee, inhale, and sit up tall. Exhale, switch directions. Inhaling up to the other side. And just continuing that pattern, keeping a long spine. Taking it nice and slow, holding any position that you might feel needs just a little bit more attention. Again, taking any notes of tight body parts, maybe the hips, the low back, the shoulders. Few more times through the center. And 
On your next exhale, we're gonna hold it in the middle. Bring the hands out in front. So a nice long spine. So we're not trying to touch our forehead down to the ground here, but lengthen through the glutes. The glutes are part of the hip immobility. So if your glutes are tight, generally the low back, the hips will also be tight. Reaching the crown of that head as far forward as you can and gently melting our way down towards the floor. Always ensure that we've got those slow, deep breaths. And inhale, gently rise up, walking the hands back up to the body, rolling up those shoulders on the exhale. We're gonna take our right leg now and extend it forward. So straight out in front of the hip with our left leg tucked in, wherever is comfortable. So maybe at the calf, maybe at the thigh. Hips and shoulders face forward. So they're both parallel, nice and even on those sit bones. And we'll take three deep breaths in and out. Every exhale, we're gonna fold forward. So reaching tall on an inhale. Exhale, fold forward, lengthening through the spine, hands to the thighs, the calf, maybe the floor. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, fold. Once more, big inhale. This time we exhale through the mouth, heavy exhale. Hinging as far forward as we can, resting the hands down to the floor, at the thigh, at the calf, maybe the foot. And we're trying to bring our belly button down to the leg. So not again bringing the head down to the leg. It's our belly button and then the chest down towards the knee. Then the head can come down to the shin if that's in your practice. However, you may be feeling tight through the hamstring here, through the low back. Even out through the shoulders. Lengthen through that spine. Try to keep that right leg pressed into the floor, the back of the knee pushed into the floor. Strong, deep breaths, and exhale through the mouth will help you relax just a little bit deeper. Notice how with every exhale, we can get just a little bit further. One more big inhale. Exhaling completely. Inhale, gently walking the hands back up. Rolling up through the shoulders, we're gonna get a hand on either side of the hips and just twist open towards that left side. So now that right leg comes out on a bit more of a 45. We're gonna take our right hand and go palm up with the back of our hand onto the floor. Big inhale with that left arm, reaching it up and over top, stacking the shoulders. Eventually we might be able to reach this left hand to our right foot, but it's probably a distance away at this time. Every inhale opens up through the ribs. Always ensure we can take a full breath. Reach that right hand away from the body. Dropping the shoulder closer to the right leg. One more big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, gently rise up. 
rolling up the shoulders on that exhale. And let's take our left leg and cross it over the right. So depending on the flexibility through the hips, you might be able to get that heel right up against the glute, or it may be a little bit further from the middle of the body. So whatever is comfortable for you, try if you can to have the sole of the foot down on the floor. Left hand down beside the left hip. Big inhale, reach up with the right hand. Exhale, right elbow to that right knee. Alternatively, you can just grab a hold of the leg if that's better for your practice tonight. Opening up through the collarbone, maybe turning the head towards the back. Keep a tall spine. Ensure a full deep breath is still available. Again, every exhale gives us just a little bit more room to twist. Remembering if you're pregnant, twisting is generally not advised. So take this time and just work on the breath if that's better for you. One more big inhale. And exhale, gently coming out of that twist. Again, rolling out through the shoulders. And we have two options here on this next one. So we can fold the knee and lean forward here. Or if it's in your practice, you can bend that right knee and then fold forward. So that'll be our more advanced option is to have that right leg bent back to the hip. However, I will demonstrate with just that right leg straight and leaning forward. So shoulders are even, and just bending as far as you feel comfortable. That's a little too much on the knee. You can bring the foot closer to the right foot. Shoulders down and back, lengthening through the spine. You should really feel that in that right side glute. One more big inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Both legs extend forward now side by side and just give them a little bit of a shake out. You should feel as though one leg is a little bit longer than the other and you might actually be able to see that here. We're going to tuck the right foot in and then bring the left leg in front. So back to that starting position, making sure we're nice and even on the sit bones, hands on the knees, breathing in deep, lengthen through the spine. On an exhale, we'll bring the chest down towards that right knee, sweep it across. Inhale up to the left. And then same motion in the opposite direction. a little mental note right now about how the body feels. Tightness right side versus left. Hold any positions that need just a little bit more attention. Slow, deep breaths, sweeping one side to the other. On this next exhale, we're going to hold it in the center. Bring the hands down in front. And just softly melt our way forward, reaching the belly button as low as we can, keeping a long spine. Soft through the shoulders, keeping them away from the ears. Gently melting our way down. A 
heavy exhale from the mouth will allow us to release just a little bit more tension, a little bit more breath. And inhale, slowly walk those hands back up to center. Rolling out through the shoulders, extending the left leg this time and taking the right leg in. So this time that leg's gonna be straight out in front, shoulders and hips are parallel. Nice and even, three big breaths and we'll hold the last one down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold forward, reaching the belly button towards the thigh. Inhale. And exhale. Big inhale. Exhale and hold it down, continuing that breath. Flex the left toes in towards the body and press the left back and knee down. A nice long spine, shoulders are parallel. Tendency will be to bring that right shoulder up, but we want to keep it level with the left. Big belly breaths, feeling the spine lengthen and the belly fill with every inhale. And every exhale, as the belly deflates, we're able to come down just a little further. Inhale. And exhale. Once more, big inhale. Exhale, melting all the way down. Inhale, coming up high, rolling out through the shoulders, hands on either side of the hips, and we're gonna adjust that position. So now we're on a 45 out from that left leg. Our left palm of hand faces up with the back of hand onto the floor. Big inhale, right hand reaches high and comes over the top. Remembering that eventually, what we'd like to do is take those hands, that right hand and reach that left foot. But for now, we'll just allow that arm to stack over top of the left, open up through the ribs, continuing those strong, deep breaths. Feeling the ribs expand with every inhale. Maybe reaching that left hand a little bit further from the left leg. Once more, big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, coming all the way up. Rolling out through those shoulders. And we'll bring that right leg over top of the left. So remember, you can have the foot closer to your left or tuck it in closer to the left glute. Whatever's best for your practice. Right hand sends back, big inhale with the left arm and drop the elbow to the outside of the right leg. Or perhaps it's best for your practice to grab a hold of the knee like this. Turning towards the back, still finding that deep, deep breath available. So if we twist too far, that breath is gonna be shortened and halted. So ensure that those big, deep breaths are still available. If not, just relax a little bit out of the twist and remember if we're pregnant, we're not twisting. Slow that breath down. Keep the tall spine. You're 
ready, slowly exhale, coming out of the twist. So here we're gonna stack that right leg on top of the left. So your right ankle can be at the shin or at the thigh. If it's in your practice, you can bend that left leg and tuck it back, if that's okay on the knees. However, I'm just gonna show you that kind of mid row flexibility. So we're gonna just lean forward at the hips, breathing into that glute. You may notice one side is a little bit tighter than the other. Slow, deep breaths. And inhale, we'll softly come up, rolling out through the shoulders. Let's extend both legs and give them just a little bit of a shake out. We're going to come onto the back, laying right down. We'll start with the knees together and bent, laying back onto your mat. And then just drop the knees side to side, resetting the hips a little bit, loosening through the low back. When you're ready, bring it into center. We'll keep the feet together, knees bent, but drop the knees out to the side. So the tighter you bring the heels in towards the body, the more you're gonna feel the hips lengthen. So adjust to what is comfortable, comfortably uncomfortable for you. Take your left hand over the belly button, right hand over the ribs, soften out through the shoulders, relax the arms. Let's really start to concentrate on that breath. As we inhale, feel the left hand, that bottom hand rise first. And then the right hand as the ribs expand. And finish that breath to the top of the lungs. Exhale from the top. Feel the ribs start to contract. And then finally, that belly button draws deep into the spine. Big inhale, filling all the way up. Exhaling slow from the top. All the way down. Closing the eyes. Releasing any of the last bit of tension or stress we might be holding. Slowly allowing that breath just to become more natural now. Perhaps you like keeping the hands over the belly. They can be by the side or perhaps overhead. Taking just a moment or two here to relax a little bit deeper into that breath.
you're welcome to stay here or when you're ready, bring the knees back in together. Gently bringing them into the chest, wrapping the hands around the shins. Rocking softly side to side, releasing any tension from the low back, from the hips. And we'll rock forward and back. Coming all the way up to a gentle seated position. So cross legged, however is comfortable for you, rolling out through the shoulders, bringing the hands in at heart center. I'd like to thank you all for joining me tonight, sharing your evening with me sharing your practice with me. Any questions or comments, please do leave them below. Always welcome feedback or requests for future practices. Thank you again. Namaste. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day.